views. Uh, it was pretty amazing, I must say, in just one day after its debut, uh, and it's one of the most talked about uh, issues online. Let's go back to our internet reporter, Abby Tatton. Abby, what are folks around the world saying? Well, if I want to show you Google hot videos right now, after the election, obviously there's Barack Obama's acceptance speech, but then look here, the next one is called CNN Hologram First. CNN reporter Jessica Yell in the moment that she was beamed into the CDO, CNN studios just a few feet away from me last night. Hundreds of thousands of views for that video and another one that's popular. Here's the moment here when artist Will I Am came in for that similar treatment later in the night. Some of the headlines on the blogs and the news sites, this is generating freaky and amazing. The A-plus geekiness award definitely went to CNN. And then my favorite, CNN studio haunted by ghost of Will I Am. Wolf. All right, thanks, Abby, very much. Uh, David Borman is the man behind all of this. He's our Washington bureau chief, the man in charge of all of our election coverage. Uh, he was amazing. He's here with us uh, right now. David, uh, congratulations. First of all, excellent ratings. You did an amazing, amazing job. But yes, let's, talk, you. let's talk a little bit about uh, how you did this. You came up with this idea. You know, I know you've been thinking about it for a while. Well, about a dozen years I've been trying to do it, and, and I've basically been a crazy mad scientist trying to get it done. And this year we pressed really hard, and about three months ago we, we launched into uh, developing it, and it ended up working. It was, uh, it was quite surprising. I know, and at one point you even made a quick trip for a day or so to Israel because there was some technology there you needed? Yeah, it was in between two debates. We produced, I produced the vice presidential debate, um, went to Israel with a fellow we were working with on the project, and we were on the ground as long as we were in the air. We had to see a proof of concept being able to recreate an image that was moving with fixed cameras. These are, these are some of the cameras we used. There were about 40 of them. So show and they us, were tell, surrounding, tell us how you do it. There, there were these, there's this green room, and I think we have some pictures of it. There it is right there. Um, and there, some, there were about 40 of these cameras uh, in a semicircle in, the, in this rig. We began to call it the transporter. Um, and the cameras are fixed. They don't there's move. There's Will I Am right there. Right. Um, and the cameras in our studio here where you and I are right now were basically broadcasting telemetry of information of where they are in the studio and the cameras had to calculate out the right perspective of Will I Am or Jessica so that they would he or she would appear to be on the red dot over in the corner of the studio. It was really complicated technologically. The sound was really complicated. I didn't know if it was going to work until yesterday. I mean, literally, only moments before we did it the first time with Jessica Yellen and, and me, uh, we, we were all nervous. We were wondering, is this really going to work? It was either going to work or not. And it worked. Yeah. Uh, so we got a future in this uh, hologram business. Well, we'll see. I think, you know, it, 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 it was a little ornament on the tree. The heart of our coverage yesterday was, was calling the races, projecting the presidency, covering those amazing moments last night but but television evolves and how we do things evolves and at some point maybe it's five years or ten years or twenty years down the road I think there's going to be a way that television does interviews like this uh, because it allows for a much more intimate possibility for a remote interview David Borman is our genius for now thanks good work David Borman our Washington bureau chief and senior vice president of CNN uh, she's about to assume one of the most high-profile positions uh, in the country